in this episode. All right, Josh, so first I want to just ask you, if you had to think of an example of a selfish action, mm -hmm. something where you would, you would just see it and say, that was a really selfish thing, does anything come to mind? Uh, yeah, actually on my drive over here, uh, is it then bad for them, at least in the long run, mm -hmm. maybe they get that spot on the freeway right yeah. when they do it, but is this kind of way of acting come back to haunt them? Is it really selfish? It's, you might think it's self-destructive, yeah. self-harming. So should we still call that sort of thing selfish? You know, I'd have to think about that. That's interesting. I, it doesn't seem like that. It seems like you would be more self-destructive, but like you said, you know, um, honestly, I haven't thought about that that much. You know, I'd have to, you pose a good point, yeah. Welcome to another episode of the Selfishness Project, where we explore selfishness. Today I am here with... Josh. With Josh. All right, Josh, so first I want to just ask you, if you had to think of an example of a selfish action, mm -hmm. something where you would, you would just see it and say, that was a really selfish thing, does anything come to mind? Uh, yeah, actually on my drive over here, uh, there was several people um, in cars. So I was, you know, I was driving on the freeway, and uh, everyone was waiting their turn to merge. And several people just flew ahead to try and get in front of everyone. And uh, I found it to be incredibly selfish. Uh, they just seemed like they had no respect for anyone else on the road, or you know, it's just it angers me, you know, unnecessarily. Okay. So what made it selfish for? the people to do that who flew in front of the others is they, they weren't being considerate yeah yeah they of thought others. of themselves before you know others on the road they didn't wait their turn they uh, just wanted to go ahead okay mm -hmm. so all right not being considerate of others um only caring about their their own yeah interests yeah maybe something like that okay so let's see is that um is it a bad thing i guess the way you kind of described it implies mm -hmm. it's a bad thing uh what they did at least would you say in general it's it's bad to just care about your own interests i mean that's a tough question because it's like for certain things i feel like it is um much more like hurtful to others and just it's like little small petty things that people do that is just much more frustrating but for self-preservation I feel like that's kind of a an instinct that humans have uh, just down at the bare bones and some people will do things out of necessity that are selfish or um, just this want to preserve themselves above all others and I feel like it's kind of an inherent thing some people do Okay, so mm -hmm. maybe there's some necessity or yeah. to it, mm -hmm. a self-preservation kind yeah. of like biologically inbuilt yeah, selfishness. Yeah, yeah, that people just okay. do that. I, I just had a thought about the how this relates to the people on the freeway who, who jumped. Mm -hmm. so, so do you think that, like what are the consequences of doing that? Like you got upset with them for doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's like I had waited my own turn to go in there and you just cut everyone off and it's... It's frustrating. It's like you yeah. didn't wait your turn, you didn't, you know, I guess it's like you didn't go through what I did, you know, why should you get to go in front of me? So, I mean, would you, would you want to be friends with a person who did something like that? Uh, <laughs> like if that's all you knew not. about them? Yeah, maybe. that's like a bad first impression, I would okay. say, you know. So then someone who does that is not going to have you as a friend, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah. If they characteristically act like yeah. that, if it's not just an outlier okay, gotcha. kind of case. Mm -hmm. So. And I, I guess um, if they behave that kind of way towards everyone, what 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 do you think would be the consequences? Uh, I would see it as uh, for them, like, they would probably just kind of be a lone wolf and not making friends and or relying on others for support. But that could go back to you know when they were children, uh, you know they didn't have to rely on others for support. So 
why should they now? Why should they, you know, wait for others when maybe uh, they weren't taught that when they were younger? Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so they're going to be loners, uh, possibly. If, or arrogant, I would say. Or arrogant. Yeah, just, it's going to be. Would it be difficult for them to develop romantic relationships with people, like healthy mm -hmm. uh, kinds of relationships? I feel like it could pose some, you know, interesting issues in that type of relationship. You know, putting themselves first before the whole of the relationship, I feel like, could cause an issue. Okay. So is it then bad for them, at least in the long run? Mm -hmm. Maybe they get that spot on the freeway, right, yeah. when they do it. but is this kind of way of acting come back to haunt them so that in the long run all mm -hmm. things considered it's bad they end up without friends without um, yeah. romantic companions they enjoy so it's actually bad for them I feel like it, it, it is you know uh, for those situations but then we go back to the self-preservation and I feel like that's a unique set of events that uh, where uh, they choose themselves they you know self-preservation they want to you know uh, live basically because it's such a deep down instinct that uh, I can only think of like apocalyptic issues uh, okay. to where they would want to you know preserve themselves above others you know uh, steal all this food hoard it to themselves before they you know give to others because they want to preserve themselves first uh, issues like that okay kind of losing my train of thought I apologize no that's all right <laughs> So I, I'm wondering then if it's if they're doing this stuff which is bad for themselves in the mm -hmm. long run, is it right to call it selfish what they do? If if doing something selfish means doing something that's good for you, mm -hmm. it looks like behaving this way is actually not good for them, at least not in the long run. Yeah. So is it really selfish? It's you might think it's self-destructive, yeah. self-harming. So, should we still call that sort of thing selfish? You know, I'd have to think about that. That's interesting. Uh, it doesn't seem like that. It seems like it would be more self-destructive, but like you said, you know, um, honestly, I haven't thought about that that much. You know, I'd have to. You pose a good point. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's not original to me, but... Um, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I've, mm -hmm. I've read some uh, some interesting things on this topic, yeah. um, which make this sort of point. If you if you consider the long range consequences of uh, the actions mm -hmm. of people who are often called selfish and the, the sort of things that they do, then um, it, it's a real question as to whether gotcha. we should be calling it selfish because it's, it's uh, actually destroying themselves in a way. It's harmful to their relationship. Gotcha, yeah. So, um, I guess uh, we, that's, that's a pretty good place to end, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that's an interesting conclusion. Yeah. Um, and You'll have me thinking for sure okay. about this type of stuff from now on, you know? All right. Yeah. Well, um, thanks a lot for your time. Yeah, of course. I'm glad I could help, you know? Yeah. I appreciate that. Thank you. Sure. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.